Hello and welcome back to Breath Edge. My name is Spanish. Last episode, we fixed the Normandy and the crazy, weird, horny AI computer lady that existed in this station. Our next objective is to return to the Normandy, which we're here now, and uh, we're about to take the wheel again and uh, see where this crazy journey takes us next. I did spend a bit of time uh, off camera just grabbing a load of the stuff out of this space station uh, before we set off. Even to the point where I, I got a whole briefcase full of food and water and stuff. This container is also full of random crap. And uh, I've just resorted to chucking it on the floor. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, you're all caught up. Let's see where we go. Create and install the navigator. Okay. Oh, hello. Can we, can we leave? Okay, explore space. Space. Explore space. Great, and install the navigator. Hang on, can I uh, come out of this? How do I... How do I leave? How do I leave the... Uh... As E rolls me forward, backwards. F does nothing. Right click does nothing. <laughs> uh, hello. Or can I not leave it while I'm between docking sort of things? All right, we'll um. By the way, the weapons ooh, calibrate themselves ooh, well, automatically like... when shooting at random targets. I have no idea where to look for everything else listed in the diagnostics, and therefore I suggest exploring the nearest debris. Right. Okay. Never mind. So we'll get to the whole navigator thing at some point, I guess. That's where we just left. There. Oh, this is crazy. I am in the Normandy. Hang on. The guns are working apparently. I shouldn't have said anything about the weapons. I have to warn you about the illegality of shoot. Ah. Uh, Never mind. <laughs> they go pew pew pew. <laughs> they go pew pew pew. They don't seem to have any ammunition and stuff. Right, okay, so uh, we've got a huge debris field to explore here, haven't we? Oh my god, the controls of this thing are really weird. They're very floaty. You have to keep the crosshairs bang in the middle or the thing just goes mental. Um, That's obviously where we sort of came... Wait, what? That's the core, though. Have we gone past the core... Of the ship and just ended up here. I don't know, but uh, this is a whole new kind of game now, really, isn't it? Because we're no longer in our little spacesuit floating around, not doing anything. We're now in a freaking we're in a shuttle with guns. Pretty crap. All right, that's the thing then. So the next time that we can dock to this station, I guess, is where we can tr possibly try and find um, the filter system and the navigator. Okay, let me just dock here again. I know that we've just left this thing. The thing with the, the last episode, our AI friend said that we shouldn't. Um, do we just maneuver? There we go. Ooh, right click for docking. Um, yeah, our AI said that we shouldn't go, go outside because the radiation here would literally just turn us into goop instantly. So we have to stay in the ship unless we dock like this. And then we can exit the thing. Right. So equipment items all right so the navigator takes four of the navigation chips remember we only found one two electronics two light bulbs and two refined metal the filter is four filters which i didn't even know what a filter is at this point um that's beef pellets do we have a filter or is it an item we had to find anyway four filters two titanium two alkali and lycoplasma now the lycoplasma is all the way back at home base so uh, hopefully we can go all the way back to home base at some point, or we have to find some out here. Alright, let's go. Let's go over here. The thing is, just like there's so much wrecks around here, and I'm so used to like, ooh, uh, a pod, let's go out and explore it, yeah? That's not how this works now. Damn, the controls of this thing are really floaty floaty. There's a huge honk of ice over on the right. Big glowy thing then. Well, oh, that's 4,000 meters away, and that's 7,000 meters away, and that's another 4,000 meters away. I'm not mistaken, am I? Is it a fully functioning breath edge coffin with hands? We've already seen such coffins, but I doubted it until now. An automatic maintenance team. They can patch us up, but nothing more. We can't get them to completely repair the shuttle. Oh, shit. That's a coffin bot station. Look, I can see them running around. Little streaks of them flying around. These are the. The little enemy coffin dudes. There was an explosion over there. Coffin bot. I like that. Alright, so this is something that I it's really bright, I can't really see. Is this something we can go into or dock to? Or something? There's a docky thing there. 
Ah, here we go. And go into here. Oh shit, repairs! The repair station! Nice! Yeah, this is like turned into a freaking arcade game now, isn't it? Fly into the arcade, into the repair thing. Go around and shoot your weapons at coffin bots. Done! We can go! Lovely! That was fun. Fully repaired. Oh yeah. Alright. Where the hell do we go now? Do we have like a little boost? Do we have a boost? Alright, we're gonna go this way. I'm gonna go away, away from the coffin bots because they feel like those little nippy things are gonna be A, really hard to hit. And B, are just probably you're just gonna tear me up. I have no idea what to expect. This is completely unexpected element of the game that I didn't even think. Looks like this is the debris of the liner's bow. It was the only part that contained unique observation modules with domed glass. How this glass survived the disaster is a mystery to me, but it would be nice to get inside, at least out of curiosity. Yep. All right. So much of this liner is just everywhere. Freaking huge, though, wasn't it? Wow. Yeah, I, I honestly thought the game would be mostly on first person, on those little cars and vehicles and stuff like that, and now they're just like, here's an entire spaceship. It was kind of a bit weird, because I, I was like, I was excited, I got the car. The extremely low temperatures overboard and the huge volumes of working fluids allowed the modules to maintain almost any temperature in the shell of the cores without unnecessary energy consumption. We could use something like this for the damaged core of Normandy. Okay. Um, let's have a little look see, look about then. How do we dock with it if if that is at all possible, even e even possible? Because that looks like a dead end. That's not a docky thingy. These are the questions that I have. Big. Examine the unknown module. I actually find a very dangerous place. Don't fly there. Great. Let's go. An external docking airlock. You can get inside from here. Or Wait, rather, but it's covered. You could get inside if you could break all this ice. Now we definitely need to fly there. Well, ha <laughs> do I just keep shooting it? Is it working? I suspect it's not. I don't. I don't think the guns are doing it. That's much better. You can. Oh, it is. Yay, the guns worked. <laughs> it was like, uh, is this? It wasn't really giving me much indication that it was working. All right, dock. Spinny, spinny. Schlappity, schlappity. All right, we're docked. I th suspect I'm going to need this thing. Um, but we'll see. Let's go. Have we got anything? Yeah, I got an EMP grenade on me as well. All right. Chili. Definitely chilly. No detailed information about the liner's cooling system in my database, but I'm sure you'll have to find something and break something. <laughs> yes, that's typically how how this works. All right, creepy space stations is is the order of the day. Creepy if empty frozen space stations. In zero gravity. Technically, they form in a different way, which means they must have another name. Orbicles, for example, or Orbicles. Uh, expandicles, versticles, pressuricles. I don't know. I'll allocate one of my processors for generating the name, perhaps. Great use of your time. Orbicles, expandicles. <laughs> oh, we need the light bulbs. That's good. This is the other thing as well. Now that I know what we need, um. No smoking, there's just loads of cigarette butts here. <laughs> that way you know what we need in order to get the things like the navigator and stuff like that. I know what to pick up. Refined metal, plastics are useful for everything. Whoops. Um, oh dear. You dead, boy. I'd say freeze, but it's too late for you. Ahahaha. <laughs> Now, here's the detail. Are these water bottles frozen? No. <laughs> that would be that would be a good level of detail if they did that. Let me uh, drink one of these and grab one of those. Okay. Yeah, again, with the whole creepy st space station thing going on here. Batteries are good. I've got so much food, I don't know what to do with it. Oh, a coffin bot. 
blasted coffin bot. I feel like I'm like, really late to the party, you know? <laughs> the battles have already been done. Apart from that space station full of them over, over the back there a bit. It looks like this is not a passageway leading to the dome, but a temporary storage module. I didn't know it was located in this part of the liner. Okay. Rubber, metal, gravity module. Lovely. It'll be very full very soon. Light bulbs or magnets. Both. So it All right. is. These are temporary storage refrigerators. Everyone who was lucky enough to die during the flight on the liner was placed here. And according to my data, there were many of them. Okay. Crew? Lycoplasma! <laughs> I knew it had to give us some lycoplasma. It's like, you, you need lycoplasma. It's like, well... But you need to give us a... The other thing is as well, I was going to do lots of back and forth and pick all this stuff up. Once I'm, well, I'm now very full, so... I don't pick anything more up. Um, what do we have here? We have lots of cryo chambers. What are these symbols? I think it's like helmets on, isn't it? Oh shit. It's a person, dude. If I open it, will he die or just explode or something? It seems like a bad idea. Blunt force trauma to the head? Nothing interesting here. <laughs> okay. Are they dead? Is that what the problem is? It did say like Let's uh, hope the deceased didn't walk away on their own. Oh they are, they're just the bodies before they go into coffins. Right, I understand now. Okay. Yeah, he dead dead. No, he's been like cut up to pieces. Um, right. Very interesting. The cooling the system. Of these refrigerators is not that simple. If I had more information, I could make a useful blueprint for Normandy. If you had more information. Well, what more information do you want, bucko? Damn. These people look exactly the same. This boulder could be named in your honor. Just look at all the stuff it destroyed. <laughs> it really did destroy a lot of stuff, including a, a bot. How the hell did this thing come from, man? Holy crap. All right, we're going to go up there. It's like... Crazy source place this is. Oh, you died. You died bad. How did that happen? <laughs> did you just it must have happened when the liner crashed, I guess, I don't know. Oh boy. Everything is blocked with ice further on. It's unlikely we'll be able to break through. Unlikely, but I have an infinity scrapper. <laughs> what is he doing that <laughs> What is that? Blip, blip, blip. Oh, refined metal. Tasty. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. There's another bot. Batteries. Ooh, a navigation ship. Um, we're going to ditch some plastic for that. We need four nav chips. Holy crap, this thing goes on and on. Okay, one of our objectives is 47 meters that way, but there's this door behind us here. I don't want to leave anything behind. And this is... Ooh, hello, gravity. This is where the boulder came from. Alright. There it, it went through there. And it came down... From, from there. My god. Hang on, what is that? It's evidence. Evidence. Physical evidence, number 1206, Miss S, who was arrested on suspicion of stealing a Phillips screwdriver, was taken to Unit 4 to give evidence during a polite interrogation. The arrested started to behave aggressively, unexpectedly struck himself 840 times an unidentified object in an area consisting of his entire body, which led to instant death of Mr. S. It's a flip-flop. <laughs> it's hard to tell anything from these remains. So many resources here, though. A lot of resources. Alright, what have we got here then? It's another scanner of the refrigerator. That's not the scanner. <laughs> That's the blaster. The nitrogen valve control unit in this refrigerator remained intact. Very interesting. I think we can go this way. Some gas leakage detected. The oh the doors are locked. Okay. Is that a navigation chip? It is. Three navigation chips. Um uh, go away. Regular metal. 
Jesus, there's refined metal here already. We can pick up later. Okay. You escaped. We go up here, or is this gonna hurt us? This is clearly not just simple steam, but something much colder. Although you could get under the dome from here. That hurts a lot. That really hurt. Can I not go that way then? It doesn't look like it. Every time I try and go that way, it just... That stuff kills me. So... We have to find a way to shut it off. Any of these valves working? Here we go. I have no idea what it is or how it works. Examine the refrigerators. Okay. I'll just turn valves for shits and giggles then. Right, let's find the other refrigerator. Oh, everybody died around here real bad. Didn't it? Where's your head? It's just gone. Dude. Uh, what? You just, what, froze to death? Or you look like you got blasted by something and... Had your skull cracked open. Lovely. This, this guy died crying by the look of it. Uh, I don't even know. I don't want to speculate how you died. Or you. Where's your trousers? <laughs> What's going on around here? Yeah, uh, armless. These freaking coffin bots are savages, man. Alright. What is this here? That's like amazing. I can't imagine how this happened, but by looking at the junction box in his hand, <laughs> I can make a rough diagram of how to connect the refrigerator. He's frozen in carbonite, ladies and gents. <laughs> Looks like I figured out the general concept of integrating thermal control systems, even though I don't have an engineering chip installed in me. All that's left is to study the cooling system controller and figure out where to get the working fluid. Then we can assemble a cooling unit for Normandy. Simple as pie. Simple as pie. He says. I am not so sure. Right. Can we now interact with the valvey thing? Now it's clear how to disable the flow of nitrogen. Turn the A02 valve all the way to the right, then the three nitrogen reduction valves. Turn the B6 valve to the left at a 30 degree angle. Don't forget to depressurize the valve. Well, or like this. All right, time to check the dome. <laughs> I did it my way. <laughs> Alright, the dome. Hello, the dome. Cooling system controller should be here somewhere. We're looking for some sort of a uh box? No. Probably a computer. Or a room. Or maybe a data block. Or a barrel with a button. <laughs> I haven't fully studied what it should look like. <laughs> it's a box. A barrel. A button. A room. <laughs> uh something. Just look around till it becomes obvious. Okay. Wait a second. This mosaic. So that's why your relative's face seems so familiar to me. A brilliant engineer, one of the creators of the core, and the father of artificial intelligence. It's him. Amazing. Are you sure you're not adopted? <laughs> Ass. There's so much stuff here. I think I feel like I need to pop back to the Normandy, offload everything. Was killed shortly before the crash. They didn't even have anything to defend themselves with. Yeah. Ouchies. Yeah, okay. I gotta pop back real quick to the Normandy. Uh, drop off all the stuff that I've got here because there's so much stuff that I'm gonna be picking up or want to pick up here that's gonna be useful. Um, so I guess I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. So, we've got a big room of floating nonsense. Um, and it's like, where do we begin? Water. I wouldn't recommend defrosting and drinking it. <laughs> okay, good. All the big water blobs are uh, of various stages of wastewater. I get you, I get you. We've got a load of titanium here as well, which is interesting choice. Like, why? Why titanium? But we'll go with it, because obviously we can't come out of the ship out in space. So this is where we gather our resources from now. In these uh, in these little stations and stuff that we've got to explore. i got to say, I, I kind of like the way the game has turned. Oh, that guy got really... Ouch, that, that must hurt. That... What? <laughs> that is some serious impaling. Oh my god. Yeah, that would have just... Why is he still together? That would just literally separate you. Anyway... Some gel. 
I don't know what the use of that gel is yet, but there we go. Um, now we were over here. I'm almost full again. Uh, let's try and reserve a bit of space for things like nav chips and stuff. Useful unknown items that we don't know we need. That looks like a, that it's enough for a human to get breath edge. In any part of the body to die, whereas coffins only die when certain points on the head and stomach are damaged. Thanks for that. <laughs> Just like what? Yeah, humans, squishy. All right. Um, I think this is it here. Like a plasma, always good. These guys just died a lot, didn't they? Didn't just die a little bit, they died a lot. Alright, I think that's it from there. This stuff is all just like metal and things like that. Right, we go through the room with a mosaic then. That's where we go next. According to some sketchy fragments of data, I assume that the office of your grandpa and his team. Did you know that he was supposed to be on board the liner? Yeah, but he was all dead and stuff. That's that's what? <laughs> what? Um An employee pass is required. I wonder if a handy scrapper will do, or if you'll have to search the bodies. Ah, <sighs> don't tell me I have to search the bodies. I don't want to just smack it. That's just like, you know that'll end badly. Right, we'll start with you. You're not interactable, so it's not you. Pretty sure we looked at all these bodies and none of them kind of lit up as any like interactable chap. Oh bloody hell, there's a freaking question mark here. Nothing of interest. Um I thought these were balls solid balls of ice, but apparently you can go inside them. Solids detected. They're freaking swimming around in the mayonnaise again. What we got here then? <laughs> the deceased is on the ship's crew list. I've checked. I don't know why, though. The deceased is on the crew list. Ooh, interesting. All right, so we've got an electronic pass. Uh, cool. All the other things are... I don't know. How do I get out of this thing? Right, there we go. Just go in a direction until you get out of the damn thing. Uh, all the other markers are, like, miles away, so I think that was it. We just need... We can go into this room now. Let's see what's behind... Grandfather's door. It's a good thing you only need to pass from a corpse, but not the corpse itself. Yes, yep, that is good. Apparently your grandpa was supposed to fly as a crew member and monitor the corps' activity. I wish I'd had a chance to talk to him. Yeah, well... Everybody's dead now. Including Gramps. More cores, more units of things. There's a all the equipment was destroyed, and someone took all the data blocks. Nice. Yep, that is very destroyed. They took all the data blocks, killed all the crew. We Someone's think it's the murder box. I wonder what it was. Examine Ricky. <laughs> Damn it, Rick. Isn't this the brilliant scientist who disappeared with his grandson after claiming to have invented the portal gun? Yep. Nice little Rick and Morty Easter egg. Love it. Play chicken. Um, okay. I loved to sculpt as a kid. It wasn't really good at it, but I remember this chicken turned out amazing. I ran it to show my grandpa, but I tripped and got it squashed on the floor. I started crying, and my grandpa tried to calm me down, saying that this way it looked even better, and this made me cry even more. I can't believe grandpa kept it. Squished chicken. A Take it. masterpiece. Or rather, it used to be a masterpiece. Or oh, is it covered in hair? Alright. So we can go this way? Oh, this is just like some quarters. Just some, some titanium and 
food and fabric and tape. Broken monitors and screens and stuff. Nothing useful. Move on. Most likely the liner's core was remotely controlled from here, but someone broke everything. Oh man. You had a bad time. You had a really bad time. A Björkern Astrophysical Observa Observatory without the information from the spacesuit, it would have remembered its name. Although Grandpa told me a lot about it and even took me there. Once I remember, I looked through one of the most powerful telescopes on Earth and saw nothing. But Grandpa looked through it for hours and kept admiring something. Great Grandpa. <laughs> that kid's got a mustache. <laughs> what old photograph. Look at sitting on his father's shoulders. My Grandpa's good friend, Uncle Bagian, is sitting on the table. He's an astronaut. I can't remember his name. It's either James or Philip. My great-grandpa had already died before my birth, but Uncle Baggian visited Grandpa often. He was a cool guy. He always smiled and talked about medicine and helped Grandpa fix his Erazavan. Eraz e Erazvan. I got a good spanking. Then it hurts just remembering it. It's a shame the camera takes only one picture, though I would have been an interesting series of photos. By the way, <laughs> Later, the chicken gave me a harder time than my grandpa. <laughs> what a great relation! Photo from the Enagon Con, where my where they presented the improved engines of modern shuttles developed by my grandpa. I was just a schoolboy at the time, but I actively helped grandpa to make a model of the engine for the presentation. It was fun. I remember that event. I was at the dry cleaners after an unpleasant incident at the time, and while they were cleaning my circuit boards, I was taking a peek at the TV with literally just one of my sensors. I haven't, I haven't rebuilt my repair tool. Damn. I need a repair tool to extract filters from this thing, which is one of the resources I needed. It's an apricot until I ate it. It was really tasty. However, Grandpa gave me a good spanking for that and covered it with epoxy resin so I wouldn't spoil it. I think someone gave him this apricot after the mass extinction of plants on Earth, and he dreamed of growing a real apricot tree in on Kepler one day. That's cheery. Tickets. Planet Grandpa. <laughs> These are the tickets to the largest planetarium in the galaxy. I was very young then, but I remember how cool it was. It was like yesterday. I drew some doodles on the tickets before we got in. Ticket collector refused to let us pass. I don't remember how it all worked out, but I remember Grandpa walking around the planetarium looking very unhappy. And with a split lip. According to my data, this planetarium has the most detailed map of the galaxy. We could really use it right now. I drew it not so long ago when Grandpa told me about his work on the greatest energy project and how the immense power in the hands of the scientists from his department now I understand that was about the aligner's core. I don't I didn't think Grandpa kept this drawing. Did he know how to create ball lightning with his bare hands? What a great man. <laughs> what a guy. I think the controller must be here somewhere. Uh-huh. Aluminium, that's rare. That's very rare. Here it is, the cooling system controller. I told you it looked like, uh, this. Yeah. You told me nothing. Your metal is bloody useful as well. Device. Cool. All right, let's interact with this thing then. Either the controller is broken, or we don't have access. In any case, I only need to examine its internals, so I suggest using a handy scrapper. Break it all. All right. Smash. Okay, I. Smashy. This is how it works. Smashing. Great. Smash tastic. Enough damage. I've made a blueprint of the cooling unit. You can feel how hot my logic board is. No less than 85 degrees. All right. So, wait, touch the circuit board. Touch the circuit board. I knew you wouldn't say no. It's hot, <laughs> isn't it? Just like Normandy's core, which we need to cool down already. However, I have some unpleasant news for you. I found out where to find the working fluid for the cooling unit, but you are unlikely to like it. In any case, we will need a drill and moral depravity. 
<laughs> a drill and moral depravity. Uh, cool, okay. I feel like we're going to be drilling some corpses. Um, good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got now to go find the working fluid, uh, examine the unknown module, create and install a filter system, and create and install the navigator. We should have, hopefully. Uh, I need to come back here and get... Um, it was that one, wasn't it? A repair tool so I can get those filters. But hopefully we'll have all the parts to get those two items very soon. Um, but that is going to be all for today. Hopefully I can find my way back to the Normandy now. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And hopefully I will see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.